Thank you so much for taking the time to hear the powerful word of truth from Prophet Bishop H. Walker. By way of special announcements, join Prophet Walker at True Life Pentecost Church every second Sunday of each month in Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4.30 p.m. Also join in with True Life every fourth Sunday of each month in Charlotte, North Carolina at 300 North Tryon Street located at the Public Library of Charlotte. For further details, go to www.truelightpentecost.org and click on announcements for any current events. Thank you so much for supporting Prophet Walker in the True Light Ministry. Be encouraged and be blessed. You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker in True Light Pentecost Church. Those that are viewing and seeking after righteousness Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. He was walking on the water until he found out. He didn't have the faith. And God was trying to show him, you got faith, but you didn't got the faith to you not go. Right. <laughs> now if you think you are, come on. <laughs> but you walking on water, oh, come on.
Charlotte this afternoon. And uh, uh, I want to leave a brief thought with you before we um, close our morning session. Amen. I want to take uh, my thought from uh, James chapter 2, verse 26. Amen. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Now, again, the principles of faith is a system in which God uses to prove a person's integrity with him and also proves one's relationship with God from the individual plane. If you don't believe, then you don't have faith. Amen. And if you don't have no faith, you can't make it through life's journey. Amen. And certainly, you can't inherit the kingdom of heaven. Now, if, if you take notice of 2 Timothy, chapter 4, and verse 16, Paul has went through many things. Amen. And sometimes we have a tendency to feel sorry for ourselves because of what we may be going through. But when the chief apostle who God handpicked and then told uh, the preacher in Damascus uh, uh, there's great trouble and suffering that he must go through for my name's sake. And he said, yeah, in other words, he was telling be careful how you handle Paul. Yeah, he, he's not just another one of them converts. Or, although all souls are precious in the sight of God. But sometimes when God, a man, chooses someone to help build up a kingdom, and if you apply it to yourself, you might say you have the same testimony of Paul. God chose you for the latter day church. Now this is the end of the journey. Paul was starting the journey for the New Testament church. We are closing the final chapter. He started the book. Amen. So when we understand the responsibility that we have to God and His kingdom and not to let the cares of this life get you burdened down till you are so sorrowful that you lose a tendency of faith. Amen. Now brothers and sisters, you can't say to a problem in your life be removed if you ain't got a whole lot of faith to back you up. Because right. speaking with your words is fine, but if you don't have the soul yeah. to back up what you speak, you might as well be sit in the corner and keep your mouth shut. Alright, Lord. Oh. Here Paul is trying to give a testimony and, and, and read verse 16 again. At my first answer, no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray God that it might not be laid to their church. Now, Paul was saying he's not angry at those who would not receive this testimony. Amen. But I'm going to pray for him. Because really, they don't have the slightest idea what they're doing when they yes. reject the word of yes. truth. Amen. Yesterday, we went out there to, uh, or day before yesterday, to try to get those people to organize a union. I shared this last night. Mm -hmm. And they simply will not. They've been beaten down and browbeaten mm -hmm. and brainwashed so long. Look, look how true life is blessed. Yes. And I want you to see something. Amen. Now, suppose you got a single mother, three or four kids. Now they tell her, and she got to have the job. You got to work 12 hours a day, seven days a week. All right, now what if she leaves her child with a babysitter? He can only babysit the child, say, to 4.30. Amen. Oh. All right. Yes. But she got to work 12 hours. Mm -hmm. So she go to the supervisor and say, but I got four or five children, and I got to pick up the children at 4.30. No, no, it's mandatory. You got to work 12 hours. You can't leave out of here till 7, 8 o'clock. What about my kids? They don't care. So what? No, they don't care. Right. What about they don't care whether they have a, a, a nurturing type of, 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 of upbringing. Brothers and sisters, there has to be some nurturing to a child. You can't leave a child in a strange setting all day long when you got people sneaking outside to smoke a cigarette. Yeah. Right. Maybe if anybody watching us smoke a cigarette from the child. Right. Right. Don't care too sad about your children. The only thing they want to do is try to make that time and so they can get away from these crazy kids. 
Hallelujah, but they are kids. Thank you, Jesus. And we take care of our kids. Amen. We ain't got to say nothing to no strange setting. Right. Oh, mother, you ought to be thankful. Father, you ought to be thankful. Amen. And those who are in a strange setting, we pray. And I promise you one thing. The blood will cover them. Yeah. Until yeah. such a time that God bring them right back to the house of the state. Because all children belong to God. All children. Hallelujah. Yeah, where the devil takes them. Yeah. And you can't do but so much to them. Yeah. Right, right. Beat them up, put them in a corner, put them in a college, whatever you want to do. You can't do but so much to them. Yeah. All men, Paul said, have forsaken me. But I believe he said, what? I pray God that it might not be laid to their church. Uh -huh. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me that by me the preaching might be fully known You've got a responsibility when God shows you. You have to testify to people. Testify to the stranger is preaching. Amen. Now, I don't care whether you talk it or whether you holler it, Amen. whether you slaughter it. It's still the same thing. You're getting a message from God to somebody who should be talking. And I don't care how they reject you. Something that you say is going to seek in some kind of way. Yes. And so sooner or later, they got to say yes to God's will. Yes. Oh, yes. praise God. End up in a crisis grave. I thank God He chose us Amen. from amongst them. Paul said, praise the Lord. All men has forsaken Him. Yes. Rejected His testimony. Here's a man, praise Lord, laid over a dead person. Come on. Lord. Hallelujah. Was preaching. Preached for too long. Man got sleepy, fell down, broke his neck, and died. Oh, yeah. Paul left the, 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 the mountain, went down and prayed for him. Man got back up and sat in his seat. Paul went right back up to the left and started preaching again. He didn't stop preaching. When they started with that the dead, he didn't stop preaching. When he went to Rome the first time and threatened his life, he still didn't stop preaching. You can't stop testifying. I don't care how things look, how bad things mean to be. If God sets your part to do something for the kingdom, you better make up your mind. You're going to follow what God has told you. You have to follow your calling. No one can matter. Nobody matters. But your relationship with God and your relationship with God is based on the truth that you have. Through a faith principle. Amen. You can't never look at things in this natural. Yeah. Natural man can't receive this. All right. Amen. But when you get caught up in the spirit and you begin to praise God and worship God and when things start getting real bad Amen. you start thinking about how bad things are and start getting happy in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes the water is deep. Yeah. Hallelujah. But God is with you. Amen. Amen. Did you tell Peter? He said, is that you walking on the water? Amen. He said, yes, it's me. Peter said, well, I want to come and walk on water too. Yeah. Jesus said, come. come. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. One word. Yeah. What's holding you back? Hey, hey. Right now. Peter prayed to God, maybe kicked his sandals off. Mm -hmm. I rolled up and started walking. Amen. Amen. But then when reality set in, here, here's something you've got to understand. You can't always look at the rationale of things in life. Sometimes you got to look past it. Hear me, somebody. You have to look past it and see the promise and the covenant God has made with you. It's not by my might, but by God's power. It's by the Holy Ghost in you of yourself. You can't do nothing. But He said, with the Spirit of God, you can do all things through Christ and strengthen you. It's God inside you that motivates you. It's God inside you that keeps you marching on. It's God inside you when you see everything that's going right. Craziness in this world. Thank God people won't even want to hear the gospel to be saved. But nevertheless, you still got to do what God wants you to do. Amen. Paul said, all men to seek me. But nevertheless, the Lord stood by my side and what? Strengthened me. Strengthened me. How? First of all, he believed. Amen. You can't get spiritual strength unless you in the spirit. Yes. And God is a spirit. And them that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. When we come to church to lift up the name of Jesus, you ought to feel something lifting up off. 
Oh, I tell you, the spirit was in this morning. A sweet spirit. Hallelujah. A, 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 a peaceful spirit. Yes. Comforting spirit. Yes. And if you allow it to saturate you, and I, I, I just think about the band. Never, never took a musical instrument a uh, lesson for a musical instrument in their life. And, and how they make them notes blend yes. and blend. Now I kind of try to give them instruction, but you know I can't make a sound. Neither <laughs> <laughs> can y'all. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you, you can't just one after service. Nah, no, you, can you can't make a sound. But Christ has his purpose for each individual. Some are called to do this, do that, go here, go there. But all of us are called for a purpose. And that's to solidify the earthly kingdom through our praise and worship and through our testimony and through our belief in God. Not based on whether you got a headache or not, or praise the Lord, nobody spoke to you this morning. I don't know, I didn't have quite enough to eat this morning, but praise God, you can still come to church. Somebody could. Hallelujah. Maybe somebody wanted to in church. Maybe somebody wanted to come to church, knew it was the right thing, but they, the Satan had blocked their mind. Uh uh. No. And, and the Holy Ghost took him. And, and, and the devil said, no. You know, you know, you know this ain't working. And pretty soon you say, yeah, I guess I'll lay back and watch uh, the basketball game. I tried to watch the basketball game once. <laughs> hey Amen. Just, just, just got called in the ministry, too. Man. Got my pop of potato chips and <laughs> popped them pillows up. Pistons were playing. Yeah, yeah. I was crazy about the pistons. <laughs> And you, Lord said, you know they're having a service at 4 o'clock. I said to myself, so what? I went this morning. <laughs> Don't get too loud. <laughs> Man, I jumped up out of that bed about 4.20 and just got the end of testimony. Because I'm so wrong. Amen. I don't care how I feel. Yes. I know that God is. Amen. And I know Him. I'm His servant. Yes. And once we understand that, and once we allow the Spirit to be the motivating factor in our lives and not look at nothing from a rational standpoint, because if you do, it's going to cloud your mind, and the next thing you know, your faith is going to waver. And when you get wavering faith, the devil play all kind of games with you. Yeah. Make you think you're sick and you ain't. Right. How deep is that? Well, I know this is happening, this is that. Find it in the Bible. Yeah. If it is, God got a plan. Yeah. That the anointing of the Lord and the prayer of faith shall save the sick. I said the prayer of faith shall save the sick. It works with me. Hallelujah. Now we all got a cross to carry. But it still works. It still works. Paul had an affirmative of the flesh. God said, My grace. Is sufficient for you. Yes. Now, some say, but he, he got injured. His eye was injured. Some say that's when the stones hit his back a certain way. <clears throat> a back problem. All kind of boy, that whatever it was, it was infirmity of the flesh. Yes. Amen. Something he didn't want. But God got tired of him. Keep asking God, will you hear me? Love you, hear me? We know you, hear me? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Keep on preaching. <laughs> and you can preach, can't you? Yeah. Hallelujah! You still can open your mouth. You still can say, I great God is. Hallelujah! Oh, praise God. Faith is something, brothers and sisters, Amen. 
Amen. It's not about tangible content, but it's something that you have to get deep down inside of you. And the more you think about the goodness of Jesus, the happier you ought to get. But to get me sad, I'm stopping you. Peter was walking on the water until he found out he didn't have the faith. And God was trying to show him, you got faith, but you ain't got the faith to. Amen. You're not God. Right. <laughs> now, if you think you are, come on. <laughs> but you walking on water, well, come on. Right. Then he said to him, why did you doubt? Yeah. Amen. You're doing all right. Amen. But he looked down and saw that water. Bubbling up around his ankle. He said, oh, oh, oh. I'm in trouble now. That was deep water. It was in the middle of the sea. Yeah. And he went down. He said, Lord, save me. Amen. God, where we got? Stretched out his hand. Amen. Sometimes he said, God, you will have everything. Reach down. Put a towel dry you say, You all right now? <laughs> My servant. Thank you. We can do all things through Christ. Amen. He didn't ask us to walk on water, but he was trying to prove a point. Amen. You're not God, but you are God's vessel. Hallelujah. And you'll never let the devil take full advantage of right. you. Amen. Because you know you can turn to somebody Lord. who got all power. Yeah. And he put a lot of that power on the inside of us. At least he gave us the power to call on him. Yeah. But when we call on him, the problem is already solved. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We don't call on him and start crying and say, oh, I'm going to wait and see. I'm going to wait and see. Lose here. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to hear the powerful word of truth from Prophet Bishop H. Walker. By way of special announcements, join Prophet Walker at True Life Pentecost Church every second Sunday of each month in Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4.30 p.m. Also join in with True Life every fourth Sunday of each month in Charlotte, North Carolina at 300 North Tryon Street located at the Public Library of Charlotte. For further details, go to www.truelightpentecost.org and click on announcements for any current events. Thank you so much for supporting Prophet Walker in the True Light Ministry. Be encouraged and be blessed. Love Talk Radio.